Good afternoon, everyone. We're going to play the fig game. Everyone stand. My hands are your feet. Whatever my hands do, your feet have to do. Jonathan, if my hands are the same as this, you put your hands the same way. Whatever my hands do, your hands do. You ready? Oh, you are watching. Well done. You're still watching. I'm going to try and trick you. <laughs> Very good. Everyone sit down. What were you doing then? Yes, that's right. You were exercising, yes. Exercising, did you enjoy it? I can see you're all smiling, so you must have enjoyed it. It makes you feel good. Now to exercise, you need energy. How do you get energy? That's right. So, what do we eat for energy? Can we have ice cream all day? No. No, that's right. Ice cream is a sometimes food. What foods could we have? Yes. That's right. Well done. Oh, that's a good one. So you're telling me that we only don't, we need more than one food. We need lots of different foods to give us energy. That's right. But how do we get the energy from the food? We eat it. Yes, that's right. So it goes into your mouth and you chew it up well. And in your mouth you have saliva and that helps to mash up the food. That's why you need good teeth. Then, here's your body. These are your lungs. And your, rib, your, your, sorry, your ribs and your lungs. Here's your gullet here. So it goes the food goes down your gullet to your stomach. And then it goes into your small intestine. And in your small intestine, that's where all the goodness is taken out by the body. And the waste product comes around here into the large colon and is out. That's right. When we go to the toilet, you're correct. So... Put that away, like that. Now, we can't exercise all day, can we? So what do we have to do? We have to rest. That's right. How do we rest? We could. Yes, that's a good one. Well done. Yes, there's all different types of ways of resting, aren't there? You've just told me some. We have one big rest. When do we have one big rest? That's right. And that's called sleep. Now we have to prepare for sleep. What do you do to prepare for sleep? What happens in your house when you prepare for sleep? Yes. That's right. Someone might have a favourite toy. Does anyone have a favourite toy? Good. And sometimes we read a story in bed, or sometimes mum or dad might read a story to you. Does that happen to you? It does? And you too? Very good. And that gives you a very big rest. Now what time do you go to sleep? This time? Right. Well done. So we need a good sleep so we can do well at school the next day. Now, up here, I have a sheet and you're all going to get one and it says exercise in red. I want you to have a look at the pictures here. When you see a picture that's all about exercise, I want you to circle it in red. Food has a circle in green. Any food you see here, you circle in green. And here rest is circled in blue and Anything to do with rest, you have to circle in blue. Then you can colour in your favourite pictures. <laughs>